Always treat your razors as though they are loaded with a razor blade. Hi there, Greg Tardif. Shaving with Greg Tardif. I don't know why I just clapped my hands. I have sunglasses on today because I have a really gnarly sty on my eye right here. It's bright red, it's bulbous, and I don't want that to be a distraction. I've talked about that too much already. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. They have a new, well kind of new, it's newish. It's a twist adjustable double open comb ascension safety razor flare tip it's got all kinds of stuff on it uh mine is gunmetal because that's the color that they offer it in it's a four piece five if you count the washers uh four piece one piece being the flare tip I actually keep my extra washer in between the handle and the flare tip and then my other washer goes right there it's 104 grams so it's pretty hefty for a three-piece razor. It's one gram lighter than the uh, Tatera Muramasa and uh, about $300 less expensive. It's just about $45, which is, I think, a steal. Speaking of steel, this is a stainless steel handle. So that's where most of your weight is. And it being a double open comb has a zinc alloy top or self-lubricating head <laughs> is, is how it's Originally described, I'm used to shaving with something like this because I have the uh, the flight double open comb. Yeah, so pretty tight. Feels good in the hand, easy to hold. The knurling, it's like each little cut and such and whatnot has like sandpaper on it. It really is grippy to hold. Feels great when I'm shaving and I think it's a wonderful shave. Now it does say it's a twist adjustable razor. Twist adjustable razor. And you say, hey, there's no, there's no fancy mechanisms or anything like that on there. There isn't, but it is adjustable. It's not quasi adjustable, it's adjustable. And it's adjustable because it's got that little washer right in there. And you can actually turn that. So once it's turned all the way, uh, you can turn it about a half a turn to the left to open it up even more and then anywhere in between really to really hone your, your shave there. And I've tried it and I've noticed a big difference between wide open and shut all the way as far as aggressiveness or efficiency or whatever. It's, I like it. It's not the highest tech solution, but to me that makes a lot more sense to have if you want a razor that's gonna last a good long while. Uh, overall fit and finish, it's really nice razor, the gunmetal finish between the zinc and the stainless steel match. So good job coating it properly. <laughs> uh, I, I can imagine that might be kind of a pain in the ass. So good job. Uh, it, the top cap and bottom cap here meet with these, uh, they look like hot dogs to match up there. And I think that's really nice. It does have a flare tip here that can unscrew and be replaced. They actually have 15 different uh, replacement tips that you can put on there. Some are flare tipped like this and like classic Gillette razors. And some have the bomb tip uh, just like this on my 62 Gillette Tech, I think. So that's kind of cool. You can personalize it and get, you know, just in case you are in a hostel and somebody has the same exact razor as you. And because yours is purple, you know that that one's yours. So you don't get them confused if you're at the hostel. But it is fun to personalize stuff too anyways. Shave quality on this, I'm very impressed with it. I'm impressed with comfort of the shave. Uh, with the double open comb head, some people are afraid because it is more of a, an aggressive shave, but overall, if you know what you're doing, it's an easy, efficient way to get a good shave, even if you're just doing one pass. I have been using my Astra Superior Platinums in it. I wanna try the strange lid in it, but I haven't done that quite yet. I wanted to put this through its paces with the Astra uh, and then various different soaps and stuff. He's including two buffer rings, and I don't know if that'll be when they re-release them as well, uh, a white one and a black one. He wanted to see if there was a difference between it. He thinks there might be some tinsel strength things, but uh, I honestly couldn't tell a difference first pass. Once it's all the way tightened, you can roll it back about half a turn and it'll be a little bit more aggressive and you can just tighten it back down for your second pass if you like a more mild second pass shave going again, uh, going across the grain. Yeah, which is what I like. So I did that, it works, feels good, good shave. Overall, $45. If you are looking for an easy razor to adjust, get a good shave, and something that's funky fresh looking, it's pretty, it looks good in photos. We'll say this, when you do take photos, 
This is a rounded bottom. You cannot stand this up. So keep that in mind. I think I'm the only one that really worries about that. I think, yeah, I think I'm the only one that worries about it because I'm coming off the Muramasa. Obviously that one's a lot more and more fine tuned as far as for adjustments uh, because this one doesn't have all crazy mechanisms in it. But for a $300 difference, I think this definitely hits above its weight if you were to compare it between the Ascension Select versus the Tatara. If you wanna see that video for the Tatara Muramasa, my first impressions, I'll put it linked right here on top of that bunny on my calendar for the month of March. So I appreciate you watching. I will talk to you soon and I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, wish me luck on getting this sty better so I don't look like a fugly, uh, who's that guy? The Sloth from the Goonies. Baby Ruth, that's me, goodbye, uh, ciao.